this aspect of discounting when things come to you, whether it is appreciation or appraisals, is not pathology. It's not clinical. It's not something that can be diagnosed. These are defense mechanisms. These are coping strategies where we we want to call these facades as an imposter syndrome. It's a it's a fancy term which we use nowadays, but I think it's not a syndrome. It's not a disease. It's not it's not a sickness. It's not something that I can diagnose. There's, there isn't a set of questions. And from those set of questions, we can conclude that, oh, I think this guy has got in, imposter syndrome. Well, it's a strategy. It's a coping mechanism. It's, a, it's an approach to hide self. Why hide self? Because I'm afraid that if I show myself, um, I may not be loved. What is the imposterism? And now I'm asking you the two types of it, which is the healthy outcome, which is confined to a particular context, and then the then the aspects where you take what works in one place and you generalize it in other aspects and there you suffer in generalization. We suffer in generalization, right? We suffer in generalization. We we lack we lack unique perspectives. So we want to we want to generalize it because it worked in one space. So we suffer in generalizations. Why do we develop this? How do we develop this? When did we develop this? Were we born with this? Not really. So what must have happened, right? Why did we develop this imposterism? When did we develop this imposterism? Either because we understood that we get what we want through this strategy or we survived through a context using this strategy. And in both cases, we kept the behavior, we kept the strategy, we kept the coping mechanism and we forgot the outcome. And it stayed with us. What did you try to rescue so hard that the only way you rescued became the way you lived every day after that? So it's an impact of trauma. It's a survival strategy because of which we learned not to show ourselves. Because we believed that the last time I showed myself, I was beaten up, I was thrashed, I was bullied, I was abused, I was compared, I was left empty, I was, you know. So... These growing up evidences that we have makes us feel that that and that alone was a reality. So you see what I started with is, do you let yourself discover who you are or do you come from that definition? So what do we do? We, we let people discover us. Is it too hard? It is to begin with. We, we, gotta, we, we let them see ourselves. And, and it's okay. It's painful, but it is okay. The effect of this B, not I, is a long-term effect. I'm refusing to be I, so I'm being the not I. And the not I is the imposterism. I'm trying to be who I'm not. I'm trying to be perfect. I'm trying to be an expert. I'm trying to be a problem solver. I'm trying to go solo. So who are you behind all these layers? <clears throat> who are you behind all these layers? Who were you before all this began? What is so hard that you became the not I? 